Okay, good morning, cellmates. Um, inviting you to come and do time with me in my art room. So, just a bit of fun. This is Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, and inviting you into my art room. Um, if you need to go and pause this video and go and make yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee to sit down and uh, have coffee with me or tea or whatever your be chosen beverage. I'm going to cover two um, requests that I've been asked. One was to do a dip in black, white, gold and silver. Uh, asked me what does that turn out like. Well, I haven't got a clue. I think I've done it in just black and gold and it was nice. So that, that's the one request, is black, white, gold and silver. So I'm doing this particular dip in those colours. And the other one was, can I dip or can I pour or straight onto a canvas that, you know, you don't particularly like or it just doesn't do? Well, this one I'm not that keen on um, and I didn't want to sell it. So I thought, well, this is the opportunity for me to do on camera to see if I can get a successful new piece of art straight onto a previous pour. So that's what this is going to be. I, I'm not sure how long ago I did this one. I know I've got the video up. It was a bit of a... Anyway, I'm not doing... So I'm, I'm covering the two requests that were asked. So I'm going to use this one to dip with. Um, I'm going to throw in the mix that I'm going to dip onto scrunched up aluminium foil. I just find that when I dip on scrunched aluminium or bubble wrap, it just gives a little bit of like, I don't know, I suppose an organic feel to the painting. It gives a little bit of, um, yeah, it's, yeah, just a little bit different. So. I'm going to use this scrumpled up piece of foil. You can reuse it again if you choose to. I opt to um, just tape down the foil because when I lift, it, it lifts up the uh, foil otherwise. So I'm just opting, oh, getting in a right mess, to, to tape down my foil. Hey. This is my week of pause for my 50,000 subscribers. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I am so um, thrilled to bits really, you know, to, I'm a, a mother and a grandmother. And, you know, to think that you can have an online presence uh, doing something that you actually love and people love to watch or, you know, um, copy colors or, or techniques I mean that's what it's all there for I don't I mean it's for everybody else to join me in my little art adventure so I'm so happy guys and thank you guys for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do so and hit the notification button so you will get notified when I have a new crazy video out um, it's absolutely free. I ask nothing of you um, financially, of course. Um, the only thing that makes it worthwhile to me, besides the pleasure, which I would do anyway, is that I was taught how to um, make your videos monetized. So I know they're annoying when you see ads come up at the before and end of my videos um, but that gives me that little bit of money well it gives me a money at the end of each month to be able to buy all of my supplies I um, I'm never out of pocket at the end of each month just because I have that ability um, which I knew nothing about till uh, my daughter-in-law told me how to monetize so that is all i ask of you guys is 
you don't have to watch the videos I know they can be so annoying but that is how I earn my money that gives me back uh, a little bit of a, an income no, I'm not saying a little bit of income and be honest it, it, as my subscribers are building up it's quite a good income from AdSense and it pays for all of my paints and it pays for all of my products and my canvases so I'm at that point now that I don't ask you guys for anything and that's what I think that it should be about because it's my choice to um, put my art out there anyway so I'm covering a lot of things and this it's exciting for me that it's my 50,000 subscribe I know it's not you know mammoth in the art world because there are lots of others with way more and that's wonderful and I am so happy for each and every one of them believe me I am so 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 let's get to this this is black white gold and silver so I'm going to do my trusty old chevrons in this I just marked where the top and the bottom of my canvas come to just for obvious reasons is so um, I don't pour paint where it's not needed but yeah anybody else that's thinking of um, starting a YouTube channel and you know no matter what age you are as I've learned you can monetize your channel be monetizing mean in that um, when you've done so many videos or got so many subscribers or so many likes on a video I, I think this is right because like I said it was my daughter-in-law that alerted me to to you know you can make money from the videos that you are doing so when you get to a certain amount of subscribers I don't know how many it is it's all there on the internet and yeah you can seek through it's called AdSense to be monetized and then I think it took me about one month to hear off them and I had a you get an official letter through the mail to say yes congratulations you can be monetized um, and then you basically go on to your YouTube site which they have a little site that's um, just for your a creators studio which again my daughter-in-law showed me how to um, access and do do things on there to put your movies on to put your videos on and and you just click on to be monetized and so then each video that the advertisers choose your video to put um, ads on you earn money from it so you know obviously the more successful the bigger site you have you know the big youtubers uh, earn heaps of money and it's I think it's a really lovely way for you know creators of any particular form to earn money because you know for me it makes you know doing something that I love I'm able to put those videos out for you without asking you guys for anything and that's what I love the most about it so there you go it's a little bit of um, oh, my story really on how I become you know so I started putting my videos out I think I had a notification in February uh, last year 2019 saying saying congratulations you have a hundred subscribers on your youtube channel so i was ecstatic over that and i was saying to my husband or oh, if i can get to 500 oh my gosh i'd be so happy and there you go little old me on 50 or oh, 50 that this is my 50,000 subscriber week <laughs> and i am blown away thank you youtube Thank you AdSense for making this possible for me and thank you, thank you, you guys, above all, thank you, you guys. I'm getting carried away now chatting about how to do, so I just want to encourage other people 
whether you're doing um, uh, acrylic art, I just want to encourage you know, give it a go if you want to have a go at getting the channel up and running. So that's it. It's if it's something you love, it's well, it's a pleasure, pleasure. Okay, rabble dance. So that was my gold, my silver, my black, and white. I'm just praying that the paint isn't too thin. So this that was one request. The second request is what's it going to turn out like over a pre-poured paint so obviously you would not attempt this if it wasn't fully dry so I'm going to try it um do oh, it's going to be a bit tight here because I should have maybe um I should have maybe extended my um foil but that's okay because I can just Fix the edges up afterwards, and that's no biggie. So, all the paints that I use, and the suppliers' links, and the description of how I mix my paints are in the drop down box underneath this video. Some people say I don't know where the drop down box is. Um, I just know that on my iPad. It is kind of like the end of the video and there's a little like V, you click on that. On my computer it says description, so you click on that. Or on some others it says view more, so you click on that. And it has the information that each YouTuber may write underneath their video. Of, um, whatever i've got links there to beginners videos i've got links to the online supplier in australia i've got links to us suppliers and i've got links to my playlist for beginners videos i believe so oh my goodness i don't know i don't know how this is going to turn out but it's interesting, hey, it might be one almighty mess, but you're coming along for the ride. All right, lift it up quick. This is why I tape the bottom. Ah, oh, bold dash. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was a little bit messy, but I can see already that the colors are coming out. That was a bit too much black. What do you think? I think I put too much black in that. I think I put too much black and maybe um, my paint's a little bit runny. But what I will do is I'm gonna leave this to dry off a little bit and see, I'll come back and um, show you some photos. In the meantime, I'm getting my little trusty water-filled balloon to just uh, pop on any edges, like around the very edge of your canvas. It's really nice if you collect the paint from the outside to pop on the very edge of your canvas. It's not a really, it's not really showing you too well there, but yeah, you can use your little tiny balloon to do your edges, and this is on any work that you want it just I'm not sure what's that's looking like at all because I'm not back there for some reason yeah this don't look that crash hot for some reason I'm getting these big well they're kind of cells but what I think I will do with this is as it dries a bit I'll just touch the teeny tiny balloon in those and it just creates something a lot more attractive than those little funny little cell they're funny little cells so there you go guys I will leave it for a while and I will come back and there will be photos on at the running at the end of this video to show you what the dried result looked like and I will let you know on my Facebook art page um, if it cracks or not being, you know, directly onto another.
canvas. I'm not very keen on that and I probably under normal circumstances would not keep it. I think the black has gone a bit muddy. It's nicer over here and it certainly might dry different. So you have to sometimes give things a chance as in life, but there you go. So it was kind of two birds, well, three birds with one stone because I covered the black, white and gold, not very successfully, sorry. Um, and I covered the question, can you pour on um, previously poured, which I have done before and it's worked absolutely fine. I don't think I've dipped on a previously dipped, a uh, previous work, but um, I've certainly poured over uh, a dried piece and I've certainly scraped a lot. So there you go. I will just play with this and see if I can salvage it some way. And oh, the third thing I did was give people that wanted to know a little bit of knowledge of how I started on my YouTube journey and that you know let you know that you can earn money from your channel especially if it, as it gets more successful um, you certainly can earn big money so um, I encourage any of you whether you're young or old if you have got a talent that you want to show or you just enjoy doing something start yourself up a YouTube channel there's plenty of room for us all there's no need to be hide anything you we're all uh, there's enough for everybody because everybody's different and they've got different things to offer so it's just what I consider not a very good pour and I'm sorry about that guys but I am going to put it up because I believe I've um, got a bit of useful information for you guys there so thank you thank you again on my anniversary of my 50,000 subscriber week I'm so excited as you can obviously tell this grandma's excited sorry about that particular pour but I'm gonna see if I can salvage it or even if it when it's dry I could very well use my gold Posca pens to um, put some embellishing in there but stay on until the camera finishes and I'll put some finished photos for you on at the end Thank you guys. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Bye for now. Ooh.